Hello everyone, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day, a day on my plate as a vegan. And so here's what I had to eat one day last week. For breakfast I made a toasted jumbo oats bowl. For this I first melted down a teaspoon of coconut oil in a pancake pan. You could also use a skillet. I then added in one cup of jumbo oats and just as a heads up, porridge oats will not work for this. I coated the oats well in the oil and toasted them on a low to medium heat, turning them constantly until they began to smell a little bit like popcorn. Then over in a separate bowl I added one cup of sweetened almond milk, two tablespoons of brown rice syrup and a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. I whisked that up and then slowly added it to the toasted oats. I stirred it through just to cover the oats and then I left that on a very low heat for around five minutes. After five minutes, I turned off the heat and just left it to sit for a further five minutes. At this point, the oats had soaked up all of the liquid. I then added those into a bowl. This was enough for one portion. I then added on some coconut yogurt, my favorite ever vegan yogurt is the cocoa yogurt it is so good and then i also added on some strawberry chia jam i'll link to my blueberry chia jam below just simply swap the blueberries for strawberries and i swelled that through and then just topped it with some flaked almonds as i say this is enough for one portion but it can be doubled and then half can be stored in the fridge for breakfast the next day the oats are super creamy a little bit chewy but in a really good way and you could top this with all sorts of fruits nuts seeds like you would a regular porridge and you can just make it different each and every time but my favorite way is with the coconut yogurt and a chia jam it's a little bit like a vegan muller corner yogurt For a little something between breakfast and lunch, I had one of these Grey's Protein Bites. This one is in the flavour cocoa and vanilla. These are basically little flapjacks, but chocolate and vanilla flapjacks. They've also got these little crispy pieces in them as well as linseeds, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. They're pretty tasty, just like a homemade flapjack, really chewy and good to kill any chocolate cravings. And there's also about five grams of protein per bar too, which is pretty good. Then for lunch I made these grilled aubergine and hummus toasts. I first sliced up an aubergine and took the two smaller slices. I placed the other slices to soak in some water. I then brushed a griddle pan on a medium heat with a little bit of oil and placed the aubergine slices into grill for around six minutes. In the meantime, I put two slices of crusty bread into toast. I then flipped over the aubergine slices to grill over on the other side. And once the toast was done, I just placed that on a plate and spread on some hummus. I then added on each aubergine slice and then I spread on a little bit of harissa paste. I'd also put in some pie nuts to toast whilst the grill was still on. Then I sprinkled those on top. I added on some fresh coriander, squeezed on the juice of half a lemon and seasoned it with salt and black pepper. On the side, I just put some fresh rocket, some half cherry tomatoes, and I drizzled on some balsamic vinegar over the top. One of my favorite things at the moment is making loaded toasts. I love the different combinations and you can come up with so many different toppings. I can't describe how good this one is. I could have probably eaten another two slices. I love the texture of aubergine when it's grilled and it just goes so well with the hummus and the harissa. There's so many flavors in there. I recently shared a spinach toast recipe which I like to have for breakfast. That's also another favorite of mine. So if you haven't seen that then I'll link it down below. I needed 
to pop out later in the afternoon so I just made myself my current favourite tea from the Bluebird Tea Company. It's the rhubarb and custard loose leaf tea. It's pretty amazing. I take around a teaspoon and I added that to my keep cup in the strainer and then just poured in boiling water. Whilst that was brewing, I just snacked on a few blackberries that we had left over in the fridge. These ones were huge and so juicy. They were really delicious. Once the tea had brewed, I removed the strainer and added in a splash of almond milk. You can drink it with or without milk, but I just feel it's so much creamier and more like rhubarb and custard with some milk in it. Gave it a good stir and then I was good to go. I love my keep cup and the fact that I can just take my tea with me everywhere I go. And then for dinner I made a curried pearl barley lentil mung bean and vegetable stew with collie rice. For this I first heated one teaspoon of rapeseed oil in a large pan and whilst it was warming up I chopped up one white onion. I then added that to the pan and just fried it off until it was soft. I then minced three cloves of garlic, added that to the pan too and cooked it down and then I grated in one thumb sized piece of fresh ginger. I then sliced up the leftover aubergine from lunch, added that in and allowed it to cook down for around three minutes and then meanwhile I chopped up a courgette. Stirred that well and then next added in a pinch of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of ground coriander, a teaspoon of turmeric and two tablespoons of curry powder. Gave it another good mix and again left that to fry off for a few more minutes before then adding in one tablespoon of tomato puree. I then took this amazing Mr. Organic ancient grain mix of pearl barley, spelt barley, red split lentils and green mung beans. I used half which was around 250 grams and I just rinsed it under running water. I then added that to the pan, turned it through everything and then I added in one tin of chopped tomatoes a can of coconut milk, two cups of vegetable stock and then I seasoned it really well with some salt and black pepper. I brought that up to a boil and then turned the heat back down and left it to simmer on a gentle heat for around 35 minutes. Meanwhile I took a small head of cauliflower, trimmed it and quartered it and then I put that on to steam for around 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I then transferred it over to my Magimix food processor and then I just pulsed it until it broke it up so it almost looked like couscous or rice. When the curried stew was done and the majority of the liquid had cooked down, I served that up on plates first and then served the cauliflower rice on top of it. I thought if it was the other way around the collie rice would maybe go a little bit mushy. I topped it with some cocoa coconut yogurt. I also sliced up some fresh green chilli and added that on top along with lots of fresh chopped coriander. This is one of the best stews I've made in a good while because of the fact that the stew had the pearl barley in it. I didn't want to serve it with rice as well so the cauliflower rice was perfect for this. Cauliflower rice is so good and I don't make it enough just because I don't find it that filling but with the lentils and the beans also in the stew it worked really well and again the yogurt on top was amazing and just complemented this really nicely. is it for another day of food I have to share with you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, all of the recipes will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!